A week-long teacher strike in Chicago could end soon. Negotiators say after marathon talks, they've created a framework for a new contract, which could end the walkout. In addition to salaries and benefits, the teachers' union was concerned about the city's plans to tie student performance closely with their job evaluations. No teacher wants to be out of school. No teacher wants to be out of school. No kids want to be out of school. The mayor doesn't want the kids to be out of school. Karen Lewis, the president of the Chicago Teachers Union, doesn't want the kids to be out of school. We all want to be in school. That means class could resume by Monday. It also means relief for parents who've had to juggle their schedules. Yeah, people are taking time off work. People are using their benefit time. It's, it's really difficult. It's hard I mean, you know, I, I think the teachers have the rights to strike. Uh, at the same time, though, I think it's affecting parents-wise because, you know, it's inconvenience work-wise. With more than 350,000 Chicago children out of the classrooms, what's a frustrated parent to do? One solution? Send the kids to strike camps. And one, two, three. At a downtown high-rise, the Looking Glass Theater has been holding workshops for school kids during the labor dispute. Professional actors taught these youngsters to perform Lewis Carroll's poem, Jabberwocky. Oh, you've just been blown out of the sky! So I think the parents have been very appreciative that it's not just a, a, a parking place for their kids, but they know their kids are going to be actively engaged. Um, their imaginations are going to be very actively challenged. Um, they're going to be creating something. And another one of the few dozen strike camps, we found children not at school still getting valuable lessons in basic physics. Here, they're putting together levers, but also getting to play with them. Some of the camps are free, some parents have to pay for, but all are focused on keeping kids busy and distracted from an adult schoolyard fight. John Moan Associated Press, Chicago.